it's going to be lazy if I just reviewed the M800 Pro and just compared it to its predecessor and the Razer Viper. Because the people who already use the M800 or the people who already use a Razer Viper Ultimate or V2 Pro are not going to be looking at reviews for this mouse and going, oh, should I upgrade, should I not? Because you probably won't. I'm going to treat this video and treat this review as if you have never touched a Viper in your life or an M800 or a girl because you're a gamer. You're just, you definitely have not touched a female or grass in your life. Unless you're a female, then you might have touched yourself. Okay, that came out wrong. Anyway, the Deluxe M800 Pro. What if you've never touched anything before and have had no context and you need to decide whether this is a good mouse for you? Let's break it down. Let's start off with the shape, which is the most important thing in any gaming mouse these days. It's a medium-sized ambidextrous gaming mouse. Let's put up the dimensions of the screen. So it's kind of a medium-sized claw or fingertip shaped direction gaming mouse. Sure, you could palm it, but everything about this shape kind of just goes don't. It's not an ergonomic shape, it's not a particularly big or puffy supportive shape, it's just a lean, stripped down, ambidextrous claw or fingertip style shape. And a lot of aspects about its design kind of guide you in the direction of doing a fingertip or a claw grip where your fingers are more arched and more aggressive. For example, the grooves kind of slope upwards on the sides so that your fingers go like this instead of going like this. Another thing is that the arch in the middle that's supporting your palm only really feels comfortable, for my hand at least, when I claw or fingertip grip it. When I full palm it, because it protrudes so much, it pokes into my palm and pokes into my knuckles, which frankly don't feel that good when I palm grip it and try to force it down. Another thing is that the grooves in the clicks here, they're steeply angled. So when I grip onto them, my fingers naturally rest in this kind of position rather than this kind of position. And because they're so steeply angled, it just feels right to do this in a more aggressive grip like claw or fingertip. Maybe if you have different hand sizes, you will think differently of the shape, but me, definitely it's going to be the case that uh, I prefer claw fingertip and I think most people will prefer claw fingertip on a mouse like this. In terms of weight, it's also very light at about 70 to 71 grams on my weighing scale. It's pretty light and I think for most people, especially if you're coming from a normal wired gaming mouse, it's going to be a wonderful experience. It's going to feel very free and free-flowing because it's relatively light and it is also wireless so it loses that wire weight. Another thing that's also really nice about this mouse, the clicks. The clicks on here are lovely jubbly. I think they're really quite good. They're extremely light which is a good thing and also they have very little pre-travel. They do have quite a bit of post travel so you're gonna have a bit more of a spongy bottom out and they have a very nice sharp click i think they have quanos in here if not kill switches i'll put that out on the screen but um they're okay they're pretty good they're not as good as the v2 pro comparison video coming soon so stay tuned for that but they are going to feel quite good and i think most people wouldn't have any complaints with that my only issue with this clicks is that they are a bit loose and they wobble a little bit just like the rest of the mouse which creaks and rattles if you shake it but it is a budget mouse so build quality isn't going to be amazing as expected but it feels pretty nice nice when you click on it, which is the most important thing. Another thing that's really light, just like um, I wish I was, Jesus Christ, I'm fat, is the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel is extremely light to both scroll and to click. It's rubber coated for good grip and while I would have preferred if the scroll wheel was a bit more recessed into the body, like the depressive thoughts that I have in the back of my mind, I have no problems with it. Frankly, most people, if not everybody on earth, will have no problem with the scroll wheel at all. It's nice, it's clicky. It's got a DPI button, which I don't care about, and it's got two thumb buttons on the left. Now, it's an ambidextrous shape, but it's not an ambidextrous extra mouse, especially if you need thumb buttons as a left-handed gamer, though the shape is pretty much almost entirely symmetrical apart from that. So it only has thumb buttons on the left and they are pretty interesting thumb buttons. They're not your high-pitched, sharp, clicky buttons that you're used to usually on gaming mice from like Razer or Logitech. They rather have a deep thock to them with a little bit more travel overall, which in my opinion has no big issue. It's just thumb buttons after all, but they don't feel particularly amazing and I think some people might not like them. I have no issues with them, especially since I got used to them on the Deluxe M800, the Predator Assessor. So I think anyone can get used to this. It's not like jarringly bad. Though some people really want like a high pitch thumb button click. Now in terms of the side grips, well it's got a bit of uh, like a textured plastic grip. Now the top has a standard matte finish which I have no issues and no qualms about. It's not too matte that it's slippery. But the sides have this kind of glossy plastic but textured to mimic rubber side grip and I hate it. Initially said in my M800 review that it was actually quite okay, it's quite nice. But now that I've used it on the new M800 Pro, I realize how bad it is now that I have tried actual rubber grip on the newer gaming mice out there because it's just terrible. Frankly, what Deluxe should have done, and if you're watching this video, please take my advice, is to just leave the sides a normal matte or glossy surface. These textured plastic surfaces catch your finger oils very quickly, and once it builds up with a little bit of finger oil, it becomes extremely slippery, so much so that it's actually difficult to grip. So I need to take some grip tape from other mice and then just paste it on the side if I actually want to use this mice legitimately because it's so damn slippery, it's actually uncomfortable. Please Deluxe, fix this. Now, what if you wanted to change the settings on this mouse? Now, a thing that this mouse does have is RGB. So you have a strip of RGB light here and as well RGB behind the logo and you also have RGB in the scroll wheel, which is, well, I don't give a shit about it, but 
you might care about it. And you can reprogram it in Deluxe's lovely software. And unlike certain gaming mice software, it doesn't have to always be on, be absolutely aggravating to deal with, constantly lose your profiles, and constantly give you random notifications that you literally don't give a shit about. Sorry, my synapses are getting a bit fired up by it talk about gaming mice software. On the bottom, you find pretty fat mice feet as well as a nice 3370 sensor, which is one of the biggest upgrades on this gaming mouse, the sensor. Now, the previous iteration of the 3335 sensor is okay on the original M800, but it was a bit iffy to some, especially the more technical people with very technical reviews. But having the 3370 sensor means pretty much zero complaints are heard from the gaming mouse community now. Of course, it could always be better, but at some point, the improvements in numbers are just a bump up on the spec sheet. I have no issues with it, no tracking issues, whatsoever, whereas with the 3335, it did feel like there was a bit of latency. On the M800 Pro, none of the issues whatsoever. And speaking of connectivity and latency, you can change the polling rate in the software, by the way, I forgot to talk about that. You can actually switch between three different connectivity modes on this mouse now, which is a big improvement over the M800, considering they didn't even gain weight. Damn. It should give me its diet. Anyway, it's got three little lights here and you can hit this mode switching button and switch between 2.4 gigahertz wireless through this Wi-Fi dongle for maximum performance or Bluetooth 1 and Bluetooth 2 modes to connect to your laptop, your phone, your other accessories through Bluetooth so you can have multiple device connection at the same time. Good job Deluxe for doing this with the M800 Pro and not adding any weight, which is awesome. However, one thing you have to note is that this mouse feet will probably be something that I would want to upgrade if I get this mouse because they're not good. The, the mice feet on here, they're big, but they're not slippery. They're, they in fact make the mouse feel a lot heavier than they should be. Replace this mice feet if you can to because it's totally worth it. In fact, these mice feet kind of hurt the experience for me. It's a lightweight mouse and it's supposed to glide like butter, but because of these higher friction, poorer quality feet, uh, it kind of diminishes the experience quite a bit. More so than even the build quality of the mouse, which in my opinion, isn't great either. The thing is, at the end of the day, this is a feature-packed mouse for 45 Singapore dollars if you can get it in stock at its original price. On Amazon, I know it's about 85 Singapore dollars, which is way overpriced. If you can get it at its original price, it's absolutely bonkers of a mouse. Wireless, 70 grams, you know, it tracks well with a good sensor, good clicks. It does everything it needs to decently, decently, and it excels in certain areas that definitely help it stand out. As a standalone review, the M800 Pro definitely gets my thumbs up and my recommendation. So if you are planning to buy a gaming mouse in this price range, you might want to look to Team Green and get a Razer Viper Ultimate because right now it's going on sale for like 60 to 70 Singapore dollars because everyone's clearing stock. So if you are someone who prefers a more kind of well-known, well-established brand, you can get that. Though this is definitely a good choice, especially since it's going to stay $40 for so however long this is going to be sold, which is awesome. This is definitely impressive mouse. Shout out Deluxe for doing so much for such a good price. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. All love to you if you watch to the end of this video. And uh, Deluxe ate snakes in the comments, so I know you watched to this point. Questions in the comments and in the Discord, you know how it goes. Bye.